Hello and welcome to a Pokesmith with some numbers. I am a Smith and today we will be talking about my experience with Pokemon Sleep. And if you want to stick around, I'll be opening up a booster bundle of Paldea Evolved. All because this week on Pokemon Sleep, they are introducing the Paldean Stars. So what better way to chase the Paldean Stars illustration rares than opening up some Paldea Evolved. So, you know what to do, ironically, grab that coffee, stay awake, stay alive, and most importantly, please like and subscribe, and let's get to it. Alright, so Pokemon Sleep, sounds easy enough. Get your Pokemon, build your team, put them to sleep, and there we go. But, it's actually quite a bit more complicated than that, but don't let that put you off, because this is actually quite a really fun and addictive game. So, to start off with... Uh, we'll just look through a bit of it if you're not familiar with the game. I'll just explain bits of it, a little bit of hints and tips. By no means am I an expert in Pokemon Sleep. I'm still figuring out, but that's all part of the fun of it, really. That I'm now 14 weeks in and still just having fun trying to figure out how it all works. So we'll start off by looking at the sleep aspect of the game. You... So you, you will put your... Set your timer to when you want to sleep, go to sleep at the end of the day and you, when you wake up you'll be given a sleep type um, and each different type will help determine which Pokemon you see in the morning. Uh, with these Pokemon in Pokemon Sleep you don't catch them, you befriend them so you feed them biscuits and that is how you get them on your team. So as you can see my sleep style for Wednesday, July 10th, was balanced. You'll get a graph, as you can see here, um, between what hours you sleep um, and where do you fall in dozing, snoozing, or slumber. That will, again, those are three categories that will determine which Pokemon you wake up to in the morning. As some of you might have spotted, mine is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. As I've said before, I work nights, so my sleep score at the end of the week, they give you grades, is always an F. I never get a good sleep score because I don't have traditional sleeping. Again, if you work odd hours like me, don't let that put you off because you still get, yeah, you still get good scores and uh, throughout the per day. At the end of the week, you get like an extra gift for having a better grade. You also get the sleep duration which again just tells you your time. The longer you spend the sleep the more points you get. These points then go on to you have like two different ways of purchasing things. You get diamonds and you get sleep points and in the store you can choose different things between them. Each item obviously comes with an explanation of what it does and how it helps you. You can get things like evolutionary stones, uh, sleep pillows to give your Pokemon energy, uh, biscuits, you can get poker biscuits to feed Pokemon, to befriend them, all sorts of things. And you can build that up a master biscuit which you can catch any Pokemon uh, straight off the bat without having to build up the score. So they have like a, a number of stages to to collect them. So you might take them five poker biscuits, for example. A good little tip when you want to use your master biscuit, either on a, a legendary or the Dene is one of the most popular because we'll get onto that actually, but it those are Pokemon to look for. So we'll we'll look at the Pokebox and this obviously has where all your Pokemon are. Uh, as you can see on my screen I have a Dedene which I did use a... No I didn't actually use a Master Biscuit for. I was just very lucky that it was a Hungry Dedene and I had uh, a Great Biscuits available. Uh, which gives you more than one at a time. This probably doesn't make sense if you don't play the game. But... I was lucky basically when I got the Dene and what the Dene does is it increases your extra tasty score so part of the game is to feed your Pokemon so breakfast lunch and dinner and the Dene will give an increased percentage of making that score bigger so you give them ingredients and it makes a meal 
and it scores it. So just what I was saying before about this Pokemon Sleep game actually being a little bit complicated, but it's 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 fun. It's something you can play in your own time. You're not against anybody. You're not relying on anybody. So it's not like you have to partner up with people and be and be that underpowered Pokemon that everyone moans about in raids or whatever. You can just go about this your own time, your own play along. Whenever you pick up your phone, have a little go on it. Five minutes, collect your berries. Another thing, berries. So I probably should have started this earlier, but you're feeding a Snorlax and your team and Snorlax gets berries each place you go. Berries add to the score of the meals. Complicated, but fun, as I keep saying. So here's my Pokemon team. Um, I have an Eevee, an Umbreon, a Bayleaf. They all have different, different skills, different sub skills, different berries and different ingredients. So, depending on what island you're on, there are different islands, you need different ingredients and different berries. It becomes a lot more easier to figure it out when you're playing the game as to what are good Pokemon and what are bad Pokemon. Uh, some main skills to avoid are Dream Shards. You kind of get Dream Shards just as you go about the game anyway. So there are Pokemon like... Uh, Ryolu, unfortunately, and a couple of others that have Dream Shards as their main skill, which is almost pointless. Leave a comment on my post asking for any tips. I, I don't want to spend too much time running through it right now, um, but I'll, I'll help answer any questions you have about the game. And this is just a quick overview of what to see, what to look for. As you can see, I've got a Charmeleon, a Wartortle. It's fun getting all these, these old Pokemon. Uh, you, you level them up, you evolve them using candies. How do you get your candies? So when you wake up, you see the Pokemon, you'll get a War Turtle, for example, and with that will come with five candies. If you then befriend that War Turtle and you can send it to the uh, Professor's Box, whatever it is, can't remember quite exactly what it's called. Uh, so there are my candies. I have 100 Charmander candies. I am waiting to decide which Charmander to use it on because again, you have different skills and I'm not sure which one to use it on. I have a Charmeleon, but I also have a good Charmander. So I don't know whether to level up my Charmander or get that Charmeleon to a Charizard. So there's a little screenshot of items. Just an example of what you can get. Recovery in incense, for example, is will just help recover uh, their health the healthier they are the more energy they have the quicker they collect all the stuff you need basically so it's kind of you're balancing getting sleep to give them energy and also <laughs> making them work to give you all the stuff you need during the day uh, but they're your friends so they're happy to do it for you each ingredients create this is what got me at the start of the game i had no idea how to figure out these meal things i was just clicking like water recipe and just seeing what the hell happened there's a specific number of recipes uh, number of ingredients that go towards each recipe i would recommend just typing in poker sleep recipes for desserts or poker sleep recipes for curries and you can see a list of what items you need to put into that meal to unlock that recipe so at the start you have no recipes you're just kind of throwing out random ingredients to figure it out uh, so yeah just type in google pokemon sleep recipes for and whichever week you're in desserts drink drinks curries it's so much more helpful that you're not just throwing things out, wasting ingredients. So do that straight away. And each meal you unlock, you get diamonds. Diamonds can be spent in stores to help you get more stuff for the game. So that is my little tip for that. Again, any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Like I said, I'm not an expert. Uh, and there is a little example of my, the cooking so you can go auto cook, choose a recipe. And you can see in the top right corner, I've got that plus 25%. That is from the Dene. So say this meal gets me 4,000 points or whatever. That will be times by 25% to go towards my score and help me just move on in the game. So 
we will look at the main screen as well so this is the the camp area so as i've explained before you've got incense which you can put there which get you a load of different things you can have like bulbasaur incense different pokemon to help them uh turn up in your next uh after your next sleep session you've got the pot which you can increase uh, to get more ingredients in to get more points and you got the camp set you can get a bigger camp set which i've not used yet um you have to pay and again talking about pay i've not put a single penny into this game i think as you can see there i'm ranked 29 i've just played it for free for fun it's you're not a competition you're not against anybody you're not comparing to anyone so kind of why blood loads of money into it if you want to play the game hardcore or whatever but i think it costs like 10 10 dollars 10 pounds i think it's the same to get the good camp set each week and to me that is just far too much money for a, a mobile game that i just want to occupy my mind for 10 minutes in the morning in the evening uh you can purchase a bunch of different things it's up to you if you've got the spare money go for it enjoy it have fun with the game but i'm trying to do it as low cost they do promotions sometimes at the moment they've got a good little set for like two pound fifty i think it's the same in america two dollars fifty which i might purchase that's available for months and months i'm in no rush i can get it whenever i want but it gets you a buttload of extra pokemon biscuits and some other stuff as well so it seems worth it <clears throat> so that is a little brief look at Pokemon Sleep. Uh, again, any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Re real brief, like I said, I don't want to go into too much detail because it is quite a complicated game. Uh, you, you have missions to achieve and with those you get different rewards. Yeah, it's, it's there's a lot to it. It's a fun little game. It'll occupy you and it won't cost you a penny if you don't want it to. So uh, go and have fun with Pokemon Sleep. Uh, um, just putting it out there. Obviously not a sponsored video. Uh, I just play it and I just thought uh, I'd let you guys know. Let you guys know that this is a little game you can play for fun, for free. Uh, and try and give you little hints and tips that tripped me up when I started the game. So the meals was the big one. Uh, figuring out what skills are worth it, what skills are useful which Pokemon are, are worth befriending and all that. You can just befriend them all if you want, just get a collection. Uh, I've got an Umbreon, which is kind of useless, but it's nice to have in my team. Uh, I'm in the process of trying to get a Sylveon. I just need some more Eevee biscuits, no Eevee candies, sorry, to evolve that one. And that is my little review so far of Pokemon Sleep, my experience so far. Uh, yeah, I've been, I'm enjoying it. So with that said, it is time now to open up that booster bundle uh, I was talking about. And hopefully we can get some of the Paldea starters. Uh, I got a Grey Coco the other day. So maybe Sprigatito Illustration Rare will be the chase for today. So without further ado, let's crack into those and have some fun with the TC. G got me six out the pack already just to save some time and as i said let's hope for the sprigatito illustration rare here we go i'm gonna go traditional style lavatar that is a unfortunately useless pokemon in pokemon sleep as fuck pyroar Perusha, reverse. Wolf Squire, reverse. And a. Ooh, a Sableye. I don't actually think I've got this one. Sableye Hollow. That looks cool. Let me make a mess. Here we go, Chimpow. Chimpow pack up. Come on. Now we're talking about how they evolve as a set. What does everyone think about it? Are we fans of it? I am. I like the uh, Aldea Revolve set. 
and the fact all the padding stars are in it is pretty cool. And uh, oh, what? So zero for two at the moment. Here we go. Come on. You know when you just have those bad feelings one day that you're going to open up six packs of Pokemon and get absolutely nothing? Kind of what I'm feeling today. So let's hope I am just imagining that. Brigatito. I'm right. Afro stuck. That's why. Jet energy. Reverse belly. A reverse tender mouth. And a... Hello, Spiritum. Zero for three, as I said. Halfway through. Come on, I need something. Something, anything would be nice. So how's everyone doing as well? Summer holidays are about to start in the UK. Is it the same for America? Have you guys already broke up from school i don't know i don't know how it works in america let me know i'll be interested to know man k reverse hop it and a lock it low kicks or whatever zero for four two left to go boost bundles not my fans recently Opened up a couple Silver Tempest booster bundles the other day. You can check that out, see how that went. Uh, I think, was it? No, one booster bundle and two uh, triple blister packs I opened. Asmoro, Slowpo, Luminous Energy, and a Cerulege. Cool Mon, but not a great Targ. So here it is, Miascarado, save the day. Little Sprigatito is going to be in here. I'm sure of it. Honestly. Yep. It will be. Come on. Fire. Oh, fine. Never mind. All right, last pack. Come on. Let's go. Gombi. Glimmit. Rigabax. Vespa Queen. Ice Q. Iono. A reverse. Noibat. A reverse. Calamitous Wasteland. <laughs> kind of like these packs. A Calamitous Wasteland of nothingness. Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff. So there it is. Those are our six packs of nothingness. I hope you enjoyed laughing at me and that rubbish opening. But also, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, video on Pokemon Sleep. My experience so far. Uh, let me know if you're playing it or if you're going to play it. And yeah. That's what it's about. Just enjoy it. Okay, so thanks again for watching. Thanks again for making it to the end. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Oh yeah, bye!